So today I thought I'd try and record a tutorial on how to do RGB split in paint.net. So first we're going to start with a traditional way. So we've got three layers here and what we want to do is we want to manually change which colours we can see. So this is going to be our blue layer. I'm going to set this to screen. We're going to set them all to screen by the way. And this is going to be our green layer, so we want to move green out the equation, got that, we set this to screen, and it doesn't matter if you set this to screen or normal, it has the same effect, because it's the base layer, and so we just make that red, and that is basically how you set up the effect, now what you actually want to do is you want to resize the image, so if you want to go cyan red, you resize your red layer, you'll just drag there, and uh, there you've got cyan red. Uh, if you want to do the uh, weird green and magenta, you just move the green layer. For the blue and yellow, you just move the blue layer. And uh, if you want to get that weird rainbow, you just move a combination uh, of blue and green so actually we might move red too to get this effect okay so now we've got that effect so I've shown you the traditional way but now I'm going to show you the way I do it okay so we're going to keep a background layer but then we're going to add three more so, we start as we did prior, this is our red. So what we want to do is we want to set this to screen. And then this of course is going to be our green layer. So we make it green, except this time I'm going to set the blend to overlay. And then this is going to be our blue layer and it will be screen, the same as red. Uh, bear in mind in the previous method, I may not have mentioned it, but you will need to set all three layers to screen on the first method. I really cannot speak today. No, wrong filter. There we go. So it creates this blue tone, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to actually resize all of them. So 